Grab your marker, paintbrush, or pen. It's time to do art with Miss Faye again. Welcome to Quarantine Art with Mrs. Faye. Yay! Hey, sixth grade artist, how you doing? Can you believe it, 2020? What a year. What a career you've had at Lincoln Elementary. Well, today we're gonna tie up the end of the year by creating a necktie painting, a wearable art piece. What? Now, if you don't have a, a paint, if you don't have paint or a real tie, you can use paper and just make one on that. And either way, we're gonna have a good time today, tying up the end of the year. You ready to get going? Okay. Today, we are gonna be tying up the end of our elementary careers by painting neckties using your favorite artist that you've learned about in the past at Lincoln or just create your own design. Maybe you want to use impressionism like Claude Monet, thick dabs of color and light. Perhaps you love George Rodrigue's blue dog idea or Vincent Van Gogh, starry night or sunflowers. Maybe you want to just do something simple like Piet Mondrian's primary colors with straight lines. Be creative, you get to choose. You will need a necktie and some acrylic paints. If you don't have either of those, not to worry, you can just draw one on this paper and create your own design, cut it out and tape it to your shirt. If you're lucky enough to have acrylic paints and a necktie, Go ahead and mix up your colors for the design you've chosen. For this, I'm going to do the blue dog. I love George Rodrigue's blue dog. First, I mixed up some shades of orange and I'm painting in the background. Now you can use a different color. You don't have to just do a solid background, but mix your colors up and paint around the blue dog. All right, you want to go about three quarters of the way up on the front of the necktie. You don't have to paint the whole thing because part of it will be hidden. Once you mix your shades, go ahead and paint. You may have to put a couple of those layers on there. Then you're ready to paint the dog. Start with the white, painting the nose. Let that dry, mix up your shades of dark and light blue, and then add the details. Once it's dry, you can add more designs to the necktie. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy creating these neckties at home, whether you're using acrylic paints on a real tie or markers or crayons on a paper tie. You can use your imagination, pretend you're wearing it as you go through that virtual tunnel. Good luck. God bless. Well, sixth grade class of 2020, congratulations. You know, it's been quite a year. And I just want to say how proud I am that you persevered. You know, Miss Faye's been gone from Lincoln for one year and I am living proof that life does go on. It gets better and it gets different. So, you hang in there, keep creating, stay positive, show love and kindness to all, and also remember to make it a great day. Unless, of course, you have other plans. All right, take care.